Even more pain at the pump. Half a dozen states raising their gas taxes today, just in time for the holiday travel weekend. And here to talk about it is Fox Business anchor David Asman. I mean, I kind of laugh. Timing. Huh? Why, what is it? Why? Why is this happening? I, I don't know. And it goes directly in contradiction to what the president was saying. Yes, of course, what right. the president was saying wasn't right. Surprise, surprise. Another thing that he said that wasn't right. He said he can lower gas prices by one buck at the pump by getting rid of an 18 cent. A uh, gas tax, a uh, federal gas tax, and states have their own. Oh, I need to fix my hair. <laughs> but the bottom line is, is that is that that doesn't get anywhere near a dollar at the pump. Everything he's tried. Think of think of first of all the the strategic petroleum reserve. He said yeah. we're going to release all this oil that, by the way, shouldn't be released overseas. It should stay here. Uh, that didn't lower oil prices or gas prices. Then he said the Saudis could could pump a lot more. Well. Remember President Macron taking him aside the other yes. day? It was supposed to be off mic, but it was on mic saying, hey, the Saudis yeah. can't produce well, that Speaking much. of that, can we play that? This uh, is President Biden yesterday at his press conference asked about going to Saudi Arabia, which is just in a couple weeks. Yeah. If you were to see the crown prince of the king, would you ask them to increase oil production? No, I'm not going to ask them. I'm going to ask there's the, all the Gulf states are meeting. I indicated to them that I thought they should be increasing oil production generically, not to the Saudis particularly. Okay, so. It's, it's just the gang that can't shoot straight. I mean, on all of these, so many policies, I, I can't think of any policies in which there's been a straight shot that succeeded, that's, that's taken down what needs to be taken down. Uh, but, and, and again, we heard when he was over there, we heard him talking about Russia, Russia, Russia is the cause of inflation. In fact, if you look at, at inflation when it began at 1.4% during January uh, 2021, when he took office, all the way to Ukraine, it was a 435% increase in inflation. It went from 1.4% to 7.5%. Since Ukraine, it's been a 9% increase. So 435% compared to 9%, it's not Russia, it's him. But they're stuck on that. And I mean, as the prices aren't going to get much better over right. the summer. Not and do you see them changing? Course no, at all? no, I, I mean, don't. Ryan How... Deese at the White House, he seems to be like just stuck on you... that one. But song. we are not stuck on the Biden administration. We saw the best thing to, to leave with a positive point the Supreme Court made a wonderful decision. Uh, yesterday on the EPA pulling back the, the regulatory power of the president. He's done so much by his own power, extending far and beyond where he Obama. should do the power of the president. Start, but the Supreme Court cut the wings, said you can't do that anymore. And that's a very positive, very positive July 4th gift to the, to the American go. people. Getting back to our roots. We the people decide, not nameless bureaucrats that aren't elected to anything. Here, here. Happy 4th of July to Happy you, David Aspen. Thank, Thank you so much. Thanks for being here. Hey, Hey, it's Will Kane. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News channel on YouTube. It's the best way to get our latest interviews and highlights. And click to subscribe to the Will Kane podcast for full episodes right now.